Mm. Good? Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Here you go, Ellie. Thank you. I'm sorry about the way I behaved the last time I was here, Doctor. And when I see you in the building, you always seem very busy, preoccupied. Even when you were the other doctors, you seemed so solitary, so alone. I don't know why, but that seems very familiar to me. Yeah. Well, I uh, hope you're... I just thought that if you wanted me to, I would. With my mouth, I would. You could lock that door, tell the nurse not to come in. I'd do it. I'd enjoy making you happy. You, you, you have to leave. I have this odd sense of intimacy towards you. Okay. I don't even know why. Yeah. I told my shrink about it, and she said I should act on it. Oh, she did? Well, you need to get a new shrink. Get several, and get a new dentist, too. I, you gotta get out of here, Mr. Remar. No, I'm serious. I need you to leave right now. Please, go. Okay. Come on. I need you uh, not to reschedule Miss Remar for anything. Okay. Uh, ever, ever again, nothing. All right, okay. I mean, I, I don't want this woman as a patient of mine. Got it. Fine. I got it. Thank you. Excuse me. Not right now. Hey, Melanie, call her. Miss Remar? On the phone, I mean, don't. Miss Remar, you need to find another dentist. Excuse me? You heard me. Dr. Johnson don't want to see you as a patient, and neither do any of the other doctors here as well. So go somewhere, bury your face in the phone book, and find another dentist, all right? Bury your face in the phone book? Yes. You have to be bold to make these kind of people go away. Thanks for holding. <laughs> <laughs> 